<laughs> Looking for mystery fun? Get a clue! New Lunchables with Scooby-Doo. With tasty new Scooby treats, collectible motion cards. Then you can watch for Daphne, Fred, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo in a new movie this summer. <laughs> so who's got the most Scooby-Doo fun? Would you stop that? Sorry. <clears throat> I mean, sorry. New Lunchables with Scooby-Doo. Make their own fun. Hey, I'm Scott, inside the Mystery Machine, helping the gang figure out what makes the groovy color swirl in the new DQ Mystery Crunch Blizzard Treat. Where in the world are they going to get one of those? At DQ. Stay with me, Fred. By Velma's calculations, the Mystery Crunch is creamy soft serve mixed with a mysterious candy crunch. Plus, when you buy a delicious DQ kids meal, you can get one of six cool Scooby toys totally free. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it, Scooby? <laughs> with the Mystery Crunch at DQ and the Scooby-Doo gang in theaters this summer, it's no mystery what you can do. DQ something different. Scoop? Scooby-Doo! Scooby-Doo! Where are you? Now, Minute Maid Coolers and Scooby and the gang want to give you a chance to win a cool trip to Australia with free passes to three theme parks, a cool helicopter ride, and more. To win, find the grand prize picture of Scooby inside specially marked Minute Maid Cooler Packs. Or for a free game piece and official rules, write to this address. Many will play, few will win. And you can look for Scooby-Doo the movie in theaters this June. Minute Maid Coolers. Scooby-Doo and the gang star in their first live-action movie opening June 14th. And to celebrate, Toys R Us is going to be the place for fun this summer in the Scooby-Doo the Movie Summer Sweepstakes. See Scooby-Doo at a Regal, UA, or Edwards Cinemas and receive a game piece while supplies last. Scan it at any participating Toys R Us to see if you've won a million dollars or other great prizes. Check out Scooby-Doo's new movie, then visit Toys R Us for more summer fun. Scooby-Doo! It's the Summer of Six Flags and the Scooby-Doo Movie in theaters June 14. Meanwhile, save $7 on tickets to Six Flags when you pick up the new Scooby-Doo Movie soundtrack. Six Flags and Scooby-Doo, so big, so close. She sings these words to me, she sings these words to me. Everyone wants to know. Where's Scooby Doo? It's another Scooby Doo mystery. Run, Paul. Now, there's more ways than ever to have fun with Scooby Doo and the rest of the gang. <laughs> and everybody knows the more Scoobies you have, the more fun you can have. Scooby Doo. Give me a hug. We found you, Scooby Doo. <laughs> You can collect all of these fun Scooby-Doo toys and look for the Scooby-Doo movie on video or DVD. It was a stormy night, much like tonight. <laughs> There's something scary going on here. Hold me, I'm scared. It's scare me silly Scooby-Doo. And lightning cracked and lit up the sky. Too creepy. Scare me silly Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo the way you like it. Real scared and real silly. Uh -oh. is that a ghost? <laughs> Too scary! Scare Me Silly Scooby-Doo includes talking Scooby and three spooky stories. Look for the Scooby-Doo movie on video or DVD. in Scooby-Doo, the motion picture. Available now. Rated E for everyone. This summer's hottest movie has this summer's hottest music. Featuring music by OutKast, Sugar Ray, Shaggy, Little Romeo featuring Master P, Uncle Cracker featuring Busta Rhymes, and Baja Men. Scooby-Doo, soundtrack album on Love Atlantic Records. <laughs> This summer, Scooby-Doo and Outcast are in the house. Woke up from a long night of hanging out with Shaggy. Oh no, lost my last baggie, a Scooby snaggy. In the meantime, I'm gonna call Velma to tell her to get the mystery machine. You can even drive the mystery machine, my man. Break it down, baby, to the floor jumps off the ground. Ooh, break it down. Scooby Doo, where are you? Scooby-Doo. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it, Scooby? Uh -huh. Directed by Raja Gosnell. Rated PG.
throughout the ages, there has been one hero standing watch over us all. One hero protecting mankind wherever he is needed. He moves in shadows, cloaked in mystery. And now, in the summer of 2002, he will be called upon yet again to save the world. Summer. No way. Has comedy. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it, Scoob? <laughs> it's got drama. Scooby Doo! Where are you? But most importantly, Reggie! Scooby Doo! <laughs> it's got best friends. Who's your best buddy? Reggie. Who's my best buddy in the whole wide world? Ruby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doo. Rated PG. In theaters June 14th. Throughout the ages, there has been one hero protecting mankind wherever he is needed. He moves in shadows, cloaked in mystery. And now, he will be called upon yet again to save the world. <laughs> Scooby-Doo, rated PG, in theaters June 14th. One of the biggest movies of the summer. No way. Has comedy. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it, Scoob? It's got drama. Scooby Doo, where are you? But most importantly, Reggie. Scooby Doo. It's got best friends. Who's your best buddy? Reggie. Who's my best buddy in the whole wide world? Ruby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doo, rated PG, in theaters June 14th. all the heroes gone Daddy. when the world needs a champion against the forces of darkness Where are you? who will answer the call i'll have whatever he's having <laughs> From Warner Brothers Pictures. Mystery Inc. reunites. Scooby and his crew <laughs> are back on the case. Run! Run! Like I'm trying, buddy. And now, on an island of mystery. Welcome to Spooky Island. <laughs> they have. Run! The monster! No clue. <laughs> We're here to solve a mystery. Rory. <laughs> I got bad feelings about this. <laughs> Creatures are taking over the world? That is so mean! Scooby <laughs> Doo! Where are you? Get up, get up, get up! Reggie! Scooby Doo! <laughs> this year. Who's your best buddy? Reggie. That's right. And who's my best buddy in the whole wide world? Ruby Doo. Many heroes stand tall. Now who's the damsel in distress? Me? Straight up. <laughs> but only one stands on all fours. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Scooby Doo. No one is stupid enough to believe that. Who's the ugly old broad? Oh. faraway island. Ancient forces have been awakened, and only one thing stands between them and the enslavement of all mankind. <laughs> I'll have whatever he's having. <laughs> this place is like uber creepy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scooby, we're here to solve a mystery. Rory. Warner Brothers Pictures presents <laughs> Fred, you had best get your smack on, smack off. You know what I'm saying, G? No. Daphne. 
Now who's the damsel in distress? Me? Straight up. Oh. Thelma. The smart one. <laughs> Scooby-Doo! Your name means Scooby-Poo! Shaggy. What are you doing, man? Oh, boy. Like, there's a ghost right behind me, isn't there? And... <laughs> Scooby-Doo. This summer. Oh, I got bad feelings about this. Those creatures are taking over the world? That is so mean. That was weird. <laughs> Did somebody spike your dog bone? Who's your best buddy? Reggie. That's right. And who's my best buddy in the whole wide world? Ruby Doo. Let's get jinky with it. Scooby Doo. Oh my God. No one is stupid enough to believe that. Who's the ugly old broad? Oh. Rank you. Rank you. Rank you. Warner Brothers Pictures presents. Scooby Doo. <laughs> Fred. You had best get your smack on, smack off. You know what I'm saying, G? No. Daphne. Now who's the damsel in distress? Me? Straight up. Velma. The smart one. <laughs> Shaggy. What are you doing, man? Oh, boy. Like, there's a ghost right behind me, isn't there? And... Scooby-Doo. Who's your best buddy? Reggie. That's right. And who's my best buddy in the whole wide world? Ruby-Doo. Let's get jinky with it. Scooby-Doo. Oh my God. No one is stupid enough to believe that. Who's the ugly old broad? Oh. Thank you. Look for it on video and DVD. All of Scooby's friends are on the case. We're here to solve a mystery. Ah! The leader. I do a tremendous amount of teamwork. The smart one. I'm going to solve this one first. The cutie. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? Ruh. And... Reggie! Show me now! The best friends. <laughs> who's your best buddy? Reggie. And who's my best buddy in the whole wide world? Ruby doo Scooby-Doo. Look for it on video and DVD. Your fill. Chocolate covered eggplant burger. With Scooby Doo. Now on video and DVD. Rated PG. They're here. Scooby Doo. Where are you? You can own Scooby Doo on video and DVD. It's pure fun. Scooby! Hilarious family entertainment. It's so exciting, you'll be saying and enjoying hours of family fun. You can own Scooby Doo on video and DVD. Rated G. Keeping it real. This Friday, you can have Scooby Doo on video and DVD. But remember no jumping, no fighting, and no. I'll have whatever he's having. You can own Scooby Doo on video and DVD this Friday. Rated PG. Available now. Do happen. <laughs> you can nab Scooby Doo on video and DVD. Where's Scooby? Oh, who's the ugly old? But remember, no jumping, no fighting, and no. Well, maybe a little. I'll have whatever he's having. So whatever it takes, get moving, and you can own Scooby Doo on video and DVD with really cool Scooby extras. You can own Scooby Doo now on video and DVD. Rated PG. <laughs> Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, the album. Featuring new recordings from Simple Plan, Bowling for Soup, and Moving Stubborn. Plus classic hits from the B-52s, Fat Boy Slim, New Radicals, and more. Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, the album. In stores now. DVD available now. Who was that? I think it's a ghost. Like solving mysteries? Now there's a mysterious invisible icy at Burger King. 
help! And it isn't what it seems. Where'd the color go? What flavor is it? That's for you to find out. And inside every kid's meal, there's a Scooby-Doo 2 toy. You can collect all five. I see sold separately. Dow, 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 dow. <laughs> Three, four, I declare a thumb war. Right hand, red. Want a better way to play with your dog? Scooby Snacks, the delicious dog snack mystery game. Line up a spooky trail of pizza, cheese, and drumstick shapes to see if your dog can track down a secret mystery snack. <laughs> Scooby Snacks, so good, they're scary. Now in three great varieties. And Scooby-Doo, back again in Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, in theaters everywhere, March 26th. If you're going to save the world from an invasion of creepy monsters, do it with grace. And you better do it on an empty stomach. Warner Brothers Pictures presents Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. If you're going to save the world from an invasion of creepy monsters, do it with grace. Do it with style. That was my outfit, I swear. And you may want to do it on an empty stomach. Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. Rated PG. Radio. Starts March 26. Mystery Inc. put them away, but someone has turned them loose. And now it's up to the gang to save us all. That dude's wearing his free cat 24-7. Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. Starts Friday, March 26. The press loves us. What has critics raving, <laughs> crowds cheering, and families flocking to theaters this Easter weekend? What's your conclusion? Funny. Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. Rated PG. Now play. If you want to solve a mystery... A monster army has invaded Coolsville. There's only one team to call. <laughs> they're smart. They're stylish. Scooby, you so don't go with that sweater. <laughs> and they know how to party. <laughs> Warner Brothers Pictures presents... Let's do it again. <laughs> Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. <laughs> oh, baby. Rated PG. Starts Friday, March 26th. A monster army has invaded Coolsville. Oh, boy. First, they blew it. We have to save Shaggy and Scooby. And they knew it. This is the most our faulty school up ever, Scooby. But now it's time to do it. <laughs> it's time to solve the mystery. Let's split up his search for clues. They stole my thing that I said. Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. Somebody's been dipping into the Scooby snacks a little early. Rated PG. Starts March 26th at a theater near you. <laughs> in troubled times. There's an unidentified freaky house in here. We are all reminded. May I have a word with Coolsville's hottest detective? Why they are legends. <laughs> Rob, Rob. Fred. Who's that weird dude in the mask? Daphne. I enjoy being a girl. Velma. Oh, that was my outfit. Shaggy. <gasps> I needed that. And of course, Scoop. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo 2. Monsters Unleashed. Rated PG. Starts Friday, March 26th. Quiet, Scoob. <gasps> when danger lurks, they are there. When terror looms, they're still there. Monsters up here. They're out of there. Look, Doo's back. Scooby Doo 2. Monsters Unleashed. Are you guys okay? <laughs> is under attack. Monsters are taking over. And now there's only one thing to do. Well, that was my outfit, I swear. Mystery Inc. is back. Let's do it again. Unfortunately, <laughs> so is every monster they've ever faced. Black Knight goes! <laughs> We have to save Shaggy and Scooby. As usual. In the embarrassing debacle, <laughs> Mystery Inc. fell far as two of the gang's key members, Shaggy Rogers and Scooby-Doo, tarnished the reputation of the once great gang. This is the most our faultiest screw-up ever, Scoob. 
There's got to be some way that we can prove that we actually belong in the gang. And now it's up to Shaggy and Scooby to save us all. We're going to die! Stay positive! We're going to die quickly! We need to come up with a plan. I wish once oh. we could be heroes. Heroes. Let's split up and search for clues. He stole my thing that I say. This is time for the most terrifying day of my life. Time with what? Every other freaking day of my life. Fred, bring it. He brought it. Daphne. I enjoy being a girl. Shaggy. I'm buff. <laughs> Velma. Who's your mommy? And Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. Don't do anything to attract attention. Hello, baby. Scooby Doo. If you want to solve a mystery, a monster army has invaded Coolsville. There's only one team to call. <laughs> They're smart. They're stylish. Scooby, those so don't go with that sweater. <laughs> and they know how to party. <laughs> Warner Home Video presents. Let's do it again. <laughs> Scooby Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. <laughs> Look for it on DVD. You can own Scooby-Doo Tuesday. He's furry. He's explosive. He's back. <laughs> Get ready for an eye-popping adventure. Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. With a TV. You can own it on DVD September 14th. You can own Scooby-Doo Tuesday. They did the monster <laughs> man. Scooby Doo 2 wants the Lion Leash Rated PG. You can own it on DVD September 14th. You can own the year's monstrously awesome DVD Tuesday. It's ghostly. It's gassy. Rory. Filled with scuba horrific new extras. Scooby Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed Rated PG. You can own it on DVD September 14th. You can own Scooby Doo Tuesday with the city under siege. There's one hope left for mankind. Scooby Doo, what's your conclusion? Funny. Scooby Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. Own it on DVD September 14th. You can own Scooby Doo now. They're cool. They're calm. And they're completely out of control. <laughs> Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. <laughs> Rated PG. You can own it on DVD now. Coming up next, when evil brings its A-game. Root for the underdog. Hello, baby. Those meddling kids are back. We need to come up with a plan. Hiding is our plan. It's one eye-popping, monstrous mystery. We're gonna die. Hey, Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, premieres next, part of 13 Nights of Halloween, only on ABC Family. Surely you've all wondered what Scooby-Doo would look like wearing purple go-go boots. <laughs> Scooby? Those so don't go with that sweater. Well, now you know. Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, tonight at 6 on Teletoon. Friday on the Hub Family Movie. <laughs> Coolsville is being overrun by monsters, and the Scooby Gang is back to find out why. Bring it. Can they solve this mystery when the lead detectives are Shaggy and Scooby? Scooby-Doo, what's your conclusion? Funny. Good luck with that. Score one for the big guys. Over and over and over. The Hub Family Movie, Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. Friday at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, only on the Hub. Don't ever let you go to radio. And if you have a question later, you can ask it at the end, okay? Okay. So you think about what you want to ask, because I know you had stuff you wanted to ask. Him. So how's it going? You feeling all right? Great. You hanging in there? A little sick. Okay. We won't be touching you. Okay, no problem. Okay. Uh, well, what can I say, man? Oh, you were fantastic again in this. And I wanted to ask you, man, how hard or easy was it to slip right back into shaggy mode? Uh, it was actually kind of easy. Uh, doing it the first time, I worked out, like, the bones of the character. So it was easy to kind of jump back into those bones. So did you have to prepare in any way? Because this is a very physical role, much more than the first time. It's tough. I mean, it's a tough... Anytime you run a marathon like Scooby-Doo, you realize that it's going to hurt from beginning to end. 
Um, and, you know, I, I work with uh, coaches two weeks before every movie I do. So I went and worked with them, and we, we went back and watched Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton and kind of try to steal from those guys to incorporate them as best we could in the movie, like steal from the greats and, you know, just learn from them. Uh, I hope you didn't hurt yourself or anything. There were some pretty well, it actually, stuff. Yeah, it actually was the most banged up I've ever been on a movie. I'd fall, I'd bump, I'd bonk. You know, like when you play in the playground and you get beat up. <laughs> He's talking to you. He's like, what? I don't know. What? He's never done this before. I, I made him sit in. Ladies and gentlemen, I made him sit in. Do you feel better sitting over there? Or are you okay? I'm uh, okay. Yeah, okay. okay, okay. All, right. All right, excellent. Um, you no, still thinking of a question? He's going to ask one question. You're still thinking of it? Still thinking? Okay. 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 Have, it, have it on the back burner. All right, good stuff. Um, what I thought was really cool about this film, too, is that you could really see that the four of you felt comfortable with each other. Right. What, was that an issue? Because the first one, obviously, you're feeling it all out. You're not sure how it's going to work out. Right. But this one, it really did come across. How was it getting back with everybody? Uh, it's great. I mean, one of the things in Hollywood is, like, you just you never get to work with people again. Kathleen Turner told me in my first movie, doing a movie is like having a marriage with a built-in divorce. You're in together every single day, and then all of a sudden, you never see each other again. And so it's nice to come back and have the chance to work again. I mean, I've known Freddie now like two years. I mean, I've worked with them two solid years of my life. I've known him for like 10 years. So therefore, I know Sarah really well. And Linda and I are like best friends. So, I mean, it's great to have those people to come back to. And on top of it, Seth and Alicia, who are like total friends of ours, all of us. Um, so that makes the whole experience that much better. Did anything surprise you about anybody's performance that kind of, you know, jumped out at you from the first one to um, the second one? Yeah, I think, well, I, I certainly think that the cameos with Peter Boyle, Alicia, and Seth make a total difference in the movie. The relationship between Linda and Seth's character is great. It's so charming, so cute, they're a blast to watch. And, uh, you know, they just take the film and make it that much better. The whole thing on the movie is that the first movie was okay. It did well worldwide. I mean, obviously it did great box office. But we all felt like the first movie was good, but there was a lot of problems with it. We wanted to make a better movie. I mean, that's the whole goal of the second movie is to make a better movie. And I think... You know, to a man, I think we all feel like we've accomplished that. Yeah, I mean, you really embody Shaggy so well. It's it's kind of scary, actually, yeah. how great you are at this. And I was wondering, you know, were you always thinking in your mind, you know, I don't want to mimic the cartoon. I kind of want to make him my own. How did you embody him? How do you go about it's that? It's tough. I mean, making him a three-dimensional character is the, the tough part. Um, to make him real, you know, that's the, that's the difficult thing, and making that translation into two-dimension, you know, a living, breathing character um and i don't know you just kind of you know i had a great script james gunn and um you know and just use your imagination well why do you think people just love shaggy and scooby so much because they're the quintessential kids they do what you would do in that situation you know fred is strong and daphne's strong and velma's smart and together they are you know they'll solve the mystery but uh shaggy and scooby do exactly what any kid would do if you saw a monster what would you do You'd run. Yeah. Right. See? I mean, that's what they do. And I think that that's why America and the world loves those guys. Um, let's talk a little bit about Neil Fanning, the, the guy uh, who does the voice. Right. And, I couldn't you know. do it without Neil. Yeah. Tell me about him, how much a help he has He been. is, for me, irreplaceable. I can't. I couldn't do it without him. I mean, it's so funny how he came to be on the, It's a certain happenstance that he's even on the film, the first one. Um, and the second one, he's irreplaceable. Uh, because every day I work with him before the take and during the take he's my voice he's in my earpiece or he's there or he's you know somewhere around the corner and he's just a third eye he's just another eye there's me and there's Raja and Raja's got tons of things going on and I'm lost in my thing and he's a third eye to watch uh, watch the performance he's great I couldn't do it without him and how much easier was it for you this time knowing now what you were kind of expected to do with the Scooby character and what it ended up looking was it easier to do it or was it well, it's, not, it's, it's, it's funny because it's, it's a little harder because you know you're going to get upstaged as an actor it's a, you know you, I very rarely in my life get upstaged while I'm performing but every time I turn around in the first one Scooby's doing something ten times funnier than I am so I knew it was going to happen I knew he'd just be funnier but it, that takes a little time to get used to yeah but in terms of the just knowing where to kind of place yourself and, and things like that was that hard? uh it's easier because you've done it once, but nothing about that is easy. You know, acting is all about the energy between two people. And, you know, to have the lead of the movie not only be a dog and a dog that talks, but not there. 
is, uh, you know, a real challenge. I mean, this, it makes it kind of, I mean, it's the hardest job I've ever done. How about maintain, maintaining the voice? I remember the first time you told me it was kind of hard to do the voice. Was it easy coming back to you? Um, yeah, it was. That was just the old bones slipping right in. It was actually, that, that part was no problem. Did you find yourself, you're, now you're, you're a dad, you're going to your daughter and talking like Shaggy? No. I don't do that. I would never do that to her. She'd be like, Dad, you're so weird. And she's two. She wouldn't have the capacity to figure that out. But Give her a few years when she starts yeah, watching this. And she'll, uh, we're going to cross that path, I'm sure. Okay, now obviously, I mean, I know you were a big fan of the show. Having these monsters come alive, what was that like? Awesome. It was great. We did, um, you know, the great thing is that on a lot of these days, like, he's real in the movie. Like, he's an actual real guy. Like, that's a costume. And, like, he's real in a costume, but you want to know a secret? The funny thing is, is you see these little green things? He couldn't see out that, so he was blind. And that guy in his mask, he couldn't see out of that, so he was blind. And then, you know, the Black Knight ghost? Remember the Black Knight ghost? Oh, oh, oh. Did you see it the other night with your mom? Yeah. He was blind. He couldn't see either. So the three ghosts that were real were really blind. They'd line them up and they'd chase after us, and they'd be going, left, go right, go left, and they'd all get confused and bang into each other. <laughs> you want to ask him? Ask me what's favorite ghost. Who's your favorite ghost? Who's my favorite ghost? I like um, Captain Cutler's ghost. Because he was there, and he was like really cool. When you saw him in real life, he was cool. I was like minor 49er, the big fat guy who blew the f fart and the <laughs> fire. Do you remember that part? Yeah. That was funny, huh? Yeah. You could tell people home. It was funny, huh? Do you like that part the best? Do you like that yeah. part? It's pretty cool. Good. Yeah, the physical stuff. Back to that a little bit because there's some scenes like we were saying you were really banged around. What was the hardest one? I mean, there's the the sliding down and the, the buffet table. I mean, what was really most challenging for you? Um, probably, probably. Um, God, that's a good question. Probably the flying stuff, all the stuff in the museum. Because anytime you see someone flying in a movie, anytime they're in pain. <laughs> Just know that the pick points that they put you on, you know, you balance your whole weight on this little girdle that has two points that keeps your weight. And generally speaking, that's a painful day. And I flew for, I think, three days. And getting dragged down that table, it, it hurts. Not, you know, you don't like complain too much. Like, I'm fine, obviously. If that's the worst that happens to me, I'm okay. But it's a painful day, so I think that's probably it. We know this is going to be a huge hit. Scooby 3, you'd be up for it? I think so. If everyone um, in Canada goes and sees it, I think we'll be okay. Everybody in Canada is going to go see it, don't you think so? Do you think? Yeah. Absolutely. Are you going to tell all your friends? What? You going to tell all your friends? To see it? Okay. Okay, okay. for sure. Okay. Matthew, thank you so much. You're it's very, very great. And uh, what do you say? This has been a Between the Programs video. TNW Studios.